Gaming Bolt presents the top 30 Xbox One games of all time. While the Xbox One may be lagging behind the PS4 in terms of exclusives this year, there are still a ton of great games to be had on the console. As the Xbox One X approaches, what are some of the best Xbox One titles you should play? Let's take a look at 30 of them right now. Cuphead the highly praised, cuptastic run-and-gun platformer, Cuphead first earned notoriety for being exclusive to the Xbox One, later confirmed for Windows 10 and Steam as well. Its challenging gameplay would be another distinguishing factor, but Cuphead stands out for many reasons. The rubber hose animation style is unique and calls back to cartoons of the 40s, while the boss design is great, actually leveraging the graphics to deliver compelling gameplay. If you haven't, then Cuphead is definitely worth getting into despite its challenge. Inside. First launched for the Xbox One and later released for the PC and PS4, Playdead's Inside is another atmospheric puzzle platformer in the vein of Limbo. The stark aesthetic belies an entrancing, in more ways than one, theme about control and whether we truly have any. Though it's pretty short and can be completed in a few hours, Inside is a deftly crafted, meticulous masterclass in storytelling. There isn't any filler and the overall story will shock and confuse as much as it will mystify you. Forza Horizon 3 You probably don't consider Forza Horizon 3 one of the best open-world racing titles of all time, and that's fine. From several standpoints, there's just so much to love about this game. Hunting for old, beat-up cars to renovate and race them offers a mix of exploration, drone piloting, and discovery. Illegal street races offer up new vehicles to own. Championships and races can be customized to your heart's content. Bucket list challenges test your wits as well as your patience. There's just so much to do and it's backed by Sims aspects that can be as welcoming or as realistic as you'd like. Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition It may be a while before its sequel comes to consoles, but Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition is still an excellent RPG regardless of platform. Much like its sequel, Divinity Original Sin is all about player choice backed by deep tactical combat and multiple story threads tugging you in different directions. The Enhanced Edition further ups the ante by offering better graphics, more intuitive controls for consoles, more quests, new story content, and much, much more. Can we get the same for Original Sin 2? Ori in the Blind Forest, Definitive Edition Another Enhanced Edition of sorts, sure, but that doesn't dismiss how great Ori in the Blind Forest really is. At heart, it's a Metroidvania-like platformer with wonderfully mystic environments to explore. However, a lot of its heart comes from the story where Ori is adopted by Nehru. One thing leads to another and before you know it, Ori is on a journey to restore the mysterious forest to its former glory. With gorgeous visuals and a fair amount of challenge, Ori and the Blind Forest cannot be missed. Minecraft Xbox One Edition You knew Minecraft was coming, and hey, Microsoft owns Mojang, so you can't blame it for propping up Minecraft with cross-platform play, a community marketplace, and much, much more. Minecraft is more than just that though. It can be pretty much anything you want. A torturous survival game, a quest to explore, a building project to express your vision, an FPS, Hunger Games, you name it and Minecraft will allow for it. Minecraft owes a lot of its longevity and fun to its accessibility, especially given the layers of depth involved. Assassin's Creed Origins In spite of quirks in movement, storytelling, and the general lack of polish, Origins is a game worth playing. If you are a fan of the RPG style that gave us The Witcher 3 and Horizon Zero Dawn, this new Assassin's Creed will be right up your alley. If you want a systemic sandbox to play around in, Origins is your game. If you just want a vast, compelling, fleshed out, massive open world that you can lose yourself in for hours without realizing that you did, Assassin's Creed Origins is still the game for you. Halo 5 Guardians the story of Halo 5 Guardians is perhaps one of the lowest points of the series, even if you're not a hardcore fan of the lore. Where did all of that hunt the truth stuff lead to anyways? While the campaign may not be described as amazing, it can still be pretty fun. The real appeal lies in multiplayer. 343 Industries has done well to build off of the initially hollow multiplayer, balancing Warzone with a firefight variant, throwing in custom forge playlists, adding new maps and cosmetics over months, which turned into years, and much, much more. The PvP may not exactly recapture the glory days of personal empowerment that Halo 2 to Reach offered, but it can still be fun. Sunset Overdrive 
Though the initial meme-heavy, radical dude culture of Sunset Overdrive came off as a little weird, the game's over-the-top nature led to some solid third-person shooting. Further accentuating the appeal was Sunset Overdrive's parkour system, which made it a joy to traverse Sunset City. Even more surprising is that a lot of the game's writing and characterization was actually really good. From Troop Master Brill Cream to Las Katrinas, Sunset Overdrive is still an excellent mix of comedy and mayhem. Doom Id Software's Doom went from mere vaporware to a cataclysmically exhilarating experience. The language of Doom was clear, move fast, shoot, beat enemies down, and repeat. The new glory kill system rewarded players for killing monsters when they were weak, garnering ammo and health in the process. The continuous action, intuitive level design, and incredible pacing led to some of the most endearing FPS action in a long, long time. More importantly, Doom proved that id Software had found their groove at last. Quantum Break As Spider-Man once said before shrugging his shoulders, it's time travel, what more do you expect? Well, Quantum Break is an intriguing exercise in third-person action intermixed with time manipulation. Live-action footage incorporated into the game as a TV show exploring the villain's perspective gave players conflicting choices between the hero and the villain. It was a unique experiment aided by incredible visuals and a fairly intriguing story. Whether it's worth the long development process or not, Quantum Break is definitely one of the more underrated games of this generation. Rare Replay 30 games from Rare's rich 30-year history, that's Rare Replay in a nutshell. Classics like Perfect Dark, Saberwolf, RC Pro-Am, Battletoads, Blast Core, Banjo-Kazooie, Conker's Bad Fur Day, Killer Instinct Gold, and Jet Force Gemini still retained their appeal despite their dated visuals. Throw in snapshots, aka curated challenges, of specific games along with behind-the-scenes footage of the developer which explored its journey over the years, and Rare Replay comes highly recommended for new and old fans alike. Grand Theft Auto V the open world crime epic will never die, whether it's due to the amazing story, the sheer depth of the open world and its activities, or the feature-packed online mode. Grand Theft Auto V is one of those games which continues to captivate players thanks to regular content updates in GTA Online. We've seen light bike races, survival modes, transforming races, heists, you name it. Say what you will about the lack of single-player DLC, but Grand Theft Auto V is still simply amazing. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Geralt traips across the world, venturing from the dingy swamps of Velen to the majestic streets of Novigrad, and eventually winding up in a wintry land, still resonates with us. You could credit the enormity of The Witcher 3's world and the sheer narrative brilliance of its many side quests. You could bag on the iffy combat and character customization. At the end of the day, The Witcher 3 is a fine open-world action RPG and one that will remain relevant for a long, long time, especially in this age of AAA releases. Killer Instinct The arcade fighting classic finally made its return, but Killer Instinct is more than just a rehash. Developed with Kinlob supervision, Killer Instinct released as a free-to-play fighter with seasons of content available for players to purchase. These add new characters, stages, and much more. The same combo-heavy gameplay, outrageous fighters, and over-the-top announcing is still intact, but it retains the spirit of Killer Instinct while offering a fun experience. Rocket League the indie title that started a craze. Rocket League finally came to the Xbox One after debuting first on PC and PS4. Numerous features like ranked play, events, a basketball map, and much more have been added, but Rocket League's compelling gameplay still remains the same. There's some madness to scoring goals, but practice makes perfect. Until you score a self goal, in which case it's suffering the cries of nice shot from your team and your opponents. XCOM 2. Timers suck. They're we had to say it. But XCOM 2 is still a pretty great tactical strategy RPG, emphasizing cover play and thinking several steps ahead of your opponent over gung-ho antics. One may find issue with the randomness of certain gameplay mechanics, like being in an alien's face and still missing your shots. Regardless, unit customization, squad play, mission design, and the overall metagame are simply top-notch in XCOM 2. Titanfall 2 Building off of the success of the first Titanfall, Titanfall 2 made some pretty drastic changes to its multiplayer. It introduced lots of new weapons, removed certain latent abilities and turned them into equipment, and maps had an altogether different flow from the first game. That being said, Titanfall 2's multiplayer is still top-notch thanks to the movement system and responsive gunplay. 
Also, if you haven't played the campaign, then you're simply missing out. Wolfenstein The New Order If you're unsure about hopping into the excellent Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus, then you can pick up Wolfenstein The New Order for cheap. As Machine Games' first title in the legendary franchise, Wolfenstein The New Order significantly revamps the presentation, story, and overall insanity of the Wolfenstein universe while retaining the old-school gruesome combat. Killing Nazis has never looked or felt this good, except in the sequel, of course. Halo Wars 2 You wouldn't think that a simplified action RTS, that too one with a Halo name, would do so well. Lo and behold, Halo Wars managed some kind of feat with its strategy gameplay and storytelling and thus warranted a sequel with Halo Wars 2. Taking place after the events of Halo 5 Guardians, we see the Spirit of Fire battling the Banished, a brute faction. With new units, heroes, and multiplayer modes like Blitz Firefight, Halo Wars 2 continues the series' tradition in an engaging way. Injustice 2 don't worry about the gear grind, Injustice 2 is one of the most complete fighters this year. The story mode is utterly amazing with great cinematics and writing. A multitude of modes and unlocks await hardcore players, aided further by the multiverse. This mode offers tons of randomly generated fights with different modifiers and a multitude of rewards. Dishonored 2 How do you possibly improve on one supernatural assassin running around the world? With Dishonored 2, we got two, Emily Caldwin and Corvo Otano, with the story of taking back the throne as the centerpiece. There's a new world to explore with Karnaka, and even if Dishonored 2 hits many of the same action beats, its level design is top-notch. The abilities are fun to mess around with, and there's enough variety in both playthroughs. Shame that the ending could have used some further polish. Gears of War Ultimate Edition Epic Games sold off the Gears of War IP to Microsoft, with the Coalition taking over development duties for the games moving forward. The decision was made to remake the first Gears of War, which isn't a bad idea for breaking the developer into the franchise for the first time. That being said, Gears of War Ultimate Edition offered some stellar visuals, highlighting the brilliance of the original set pieces while retaining Dom's idiotic AI. Multiplayer is more or less a wash, but Gears of War Ultimate Edition stands strong with its campaign. Dark Souls 3 Dark Souls 3 is the Dark Souls of gaming. That may sound like a joke, but it's true. After Dark Souls 2 effectively split the community, Dark Souls 3 mostly does away with the hollowing. There's more than a few tough bosses, the environments are a joy to behold, and weapon arts provide more diversity. It's no Bloodborne, and the worries of turtling are very much prevalent, but Dark Souls 3 is still one of the finest games ever made. ReCore With so much manpower behind it, namely Armature Studio, Comcept, KG Inafune and Joseph Staten, ReCore had far higher expectations behind it. While that didn't quite pan out at launch, ReCore presents a compelling universe with some intriguing 3D Mega Man style platforming and gunning. The definitive edition recently released, packing more refinements and existing DLC into one package. It may not be the greatest game ever made, but ReCore is still worth a look for Xbox One owners. Deus Ex Mankind Divided Despite a rather average story with a massive cliffhanger, Deus Ex Mankind Divided deserves major props for its open world, or rather, for the bustling hub world that is Prague, full of minute details, mysteries, intriguing side quests, and numerous ways to complete everything. There's a lot more freedom this time around which helps when deciding how to pull off a heist or apprehend a certain suspect. Thumper Thumper is pure terror, but as a rhythmic racer. It seems simple enough as you, a metallic scarab, speeds down a futuristic neo-noir racetrack. You must hit certain tiles in tune with the thumping soundtrack. Soon, the sensation of speed overwhelms you as turns, spikes, jumps, lasers, and much more are introduced. Thumper is an experience that's all-encompassing, difficult, and very tough to put down. Gears of War 4 The gears are back, but in a new era. Marcus Phoenix still has a role to play as the gruff, aging veteran, but it's his son, JD, that's the actual protagonist. There's a new threat with the swarm, but the same cover-based shooting as you transition from one explosive set piece to the next still remains. Horde mode also returns with classes and mods, though there is some microtransaction nonsense going on there. Regardless, with regular multiplayer updates, excellent visuals, and a strong campaign, Gears of War 4 comes recommended for series fans. Prey, a thinking man's shooter of sorts. 
Prey embodies a system shock-like atmosphere of identity and mystery. Players take on the role of Morgan Yu aboard Talos-1 and battle a mysterious alien force called Typhon. Taking on different augments, players must decide to incorporate Typhon DNA into Morgan to stand a fighting chance. With multiple endings and extensive exploration, Prey has the makings of a sleeper hit. Forza Motorsport 7 Loot boxes or prize crates may have miffed those purchasing cars, mods, and character cosmetics, but Forza Motorsport 7 still very much stands out with its excellent racing. The car choice is simply phenomenal with over 700 vehicles to race. Dynamic weather radically alters one's approach when racing. Finally, the Forza Drivers Cup is exceptionally great even as it delivers the showcase events and division races you know and love. And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Vault, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.